feel like there's something that was relevant for that that I did when I copied something or stole something. Well, I'm thinking mind control effects. Anyways. Yeah, the Shalai was great there. Made I could play uh, play my auras without being screwed. I got asked that question a couple of times now. What's my favorite color and play style? I don't think that really is a thing. I think that there's a lot of ways you can play a number of the colors right now. I just prefer the cards that work the best. So I don't know that I have a favorite color. At the moment, it feels like red doesn't do a lot for me. I guess I guess I don't like the aggro draft decks particularly much, although I'm okay with the tempo draft deck because the ones that... Let me see. I, I feel like I'm worse at drafting wide aggro decks than I need to be. So maybe I'll get better at that. The only wide aggro decks that seem to work for me, I can't keep this hand because I don't have any fucking mana. Um, it's a little bit better. The only wide aggro decks that seem to work for me are the ones that get a shit ton of token generation. And it feels like you have to just draft tokens above quality cards to do that. And a lot of times the really heavy aggro decks just seem to run out of steam really easily. I don't want that right now either. I need land. Both mulligans, so that's good. So I'm not behind on value yet. And that's the land. Hey. Feels exciting. I mean, the rest of the hand's pretty slow and clunky. The trappers have been kind of bad. Just have never successfully traded with anything. Okay. I do play a lot of black. I feel like black's pretty strong. Um, am I desperate enough to start? No, I'm not. I can't deal with the bird anyways. I have a 3-2 for 3-2 trade. You can feel the difference between going first and... Ah, oh, man, that would have been nice to be an island. Could this have been the, the bounce mage? No. This could have been uh, Sarah's wings. All right, he doesn't want to trade. He wants to race. That's what I want to see. All right. I think I'm okay with him racing right now. Let's bounce it first so he can't get the flying effect. Nice. Playable creature that trades with his stuff right now. Clearly, if uh, if he gets any sort of um, historic spell, it's a pain. I think that's still fine. Let's just stabilize the board, then run him over with value creatures. I mean, a Historic taps my blocker and gives him plus two, plus two in the air, which is super annoying. Yeah, that's super annoying, for sure. Presumably he taps the trapper and gets in for seven, but maybe he taps the blocker, the air blocker, and swings on the, the ground crace with the equip shield, I suppose, is a thing, too. I don't have the ear of the devs and suggesting an improvement to the devs from land as a fundamental attribute of magic that has remained basically unchanged for 25 years with the same exact land screw problems all around. Seems optimistic at best. All right, taking some damage. Let's get the Jin down.
Oh, I should have blocked because I was going to get it back anyways. That's me being fucking dumb. Alright. Could have uh, not taken three damage there. Uh, I'm not blocking with this creature. I might block with that creature. Okay. I mean, mulligans have been a step in the right direction, right? But still... And maybe mulligans are more reasonable in constructed play, possibly. But it just feels like in draft, it just feels like it's such a value disadvantage. It often feels like to me a single two for one or sometimes two two for ones is enough to win the value game of a of a game. So I think I make the 2-2 two, two, a 5-5 five, five and start swinging. 10 can be run over. Oh, four, 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 not five, five. Actually, it's the wrong one still. Ah, uh, no, this threatens to kill the elephant. Okay. Okay, we need to stop drawing land now. We're up to eight already. I guess maybe I can get some value out of Memorial at the end of the next turn. This board's getting too wide. I don't even think I can swing anymore. I think his board is too wide. He knows I have adamant will too from the duress at the beginning of the game. Oh, wait, maybe that wasn't this game? No, that wasn't this game. Never mind. Okay. Another dub is not what I needed. Needed a Sphinx, really. Uh, so I'm hesitant to use my only piece of removal here, but I don't feel like this board is threatening enough right now for me. I need to be able to keep him off of attacking me. So I'm going to dub again. We're going to get two for one the instant he fucking draws anything, which kind of sucks. The question is, do I deep freeze something this turn or not? I think not quite yet. wider board this is not what I need I me mean, I guess kind of sets up the uh, lifesteal element I guess
two effects that can't trigger. I think they're all big enough already. I guess I want to attack with the flyer for the life gain next time. Maybe not. I'm gonna have to deep freeze something. Biggest power is the paladin. Doesn't feel super exciting to me. Next biggest power is the elephant. It's a little bit more exciting. Maybe not. Let's grab the pal. Let's grab the paladin. I guess it can ping me if he ever gets historic. All right. Why did that change the board? It's not wider. I still only have three blocking creatures to three, six, seven, eight attackers right now. It's pretty bad news. Nine attackers. That's a really good one. It's both the creature and smoothing out what's coming next. There's a chance I kill him next turn. Pretty slim though. Let's grab the cloud reader. All right, um, no, it's wrong. Should play the other way around. I mean, I get this for removal right now. So next time we get lifelink on this guy and first, he has first strike. Lifelink and flying. So I'm expecting the attack to come this turn. So I think we're done. Okay, sure, sparring construct. Oh, he gets to tap a creature. Fuck that. That's super bad. I didn't even think about the fact that it's a... Man. And I'm going to get hit for two as well by the Cabal. Oh, we're dead. <laughs> oh, we're dead. Never mind, we're dead. We're going to go one and three on this deck. Two of them from Landscrews. We're just so fucked right now. One turn off the lifesteal effect. No, we're at one right now, actually. Okay. Tap the wrong one. Alright, uh, we have to block by combat strength. Blocks of four. So the four, the three, and the... Blocks the four. We've got the elephant on three that needs to be blocked. And we've got the other guy on three that needs to be blocked. We take two, four. Oh no, I don't have the bugler. Six, seven, eight, nine. No, I just missed the blocker. We're just dead. There's nothing I can do about that. I don't have any life gain effects on these creatures, so they don't do anything. Um, I couldn't make this guy immune to targeting, so we're just dead. Damn. All right. So that deck that's super insane just went one in three. And it went one in three because we got land screwed twice. Feels fucking terrible. All right, on that happy note,